This video was filmed in studio using props. Your actual experience may vary. This product is made with Vulcan Classic Series webbing. Our webbing standard since 1988, Vulcan Classic Series provides functionality, performance, and strength at our most affordable prices. Always read your safety tag for all the pertinent information. Remember to check the label on your device for the safe working load. Never tie down by less than four points on any vehicle. Inspect your vehicle every 50 miles. Consult your local DOT for specific regulations. While the safe working load of the TH051 series is only 1,600 pounds, when used properly in sets of four, you have an aggregate working load of 6,400 pounds, which makes it perfect for any average size vehicle, SUV, or pickup truck. The advantage of the TH051 is its extended length. Leads to more versatility and an easier way to attach to trailers that are not as standard. To install your TH051 tire strap, begin by spreading the strap in front of the tire, placing the tread cleats evenly spaced in front of the wheel. So, I've selected a pooch hole that is as close to the tire as possible and as close to the center across the tread. So after I've laid out my strap, you'll see that I've slid it onto the wheel uh, by keeping it in the center position. I've taken my rubber cleats and taken my tread cleats to engage inside the nearest tread to the center of the vehicle. Make sure when you position your cleats that they're all three in the forward position towards the ratchet strap, up against the stop. So now that I've got my front hook inserted and my top cleats in place, it's time to insert my back hook. I've again selected a pooch hole that is as close to the tire as possible and is close to the center in line with my strap and the rest of my assembly. Now it's time to insert the tensioners. The TH051 tensioning device uh, does have a little bit additional strap here. It gives you a little more versatility as to where you're going to be able to put this strap. Always make sure that you still put it in line with your strap and never wrap it around any sharp corners. To tension, very simply, we're going to just remove the tension by hand. We're going to make sure that we have enough clearance between uh, the tire and the deck of the vehicle by extending the ratchet a full 180 degrees to make sure we're not touching anything. And then we're going to just give it a couple of ratchets, store the handle back in the locking position, secure your additional webbing, and go on your way.